Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about how my year of 2020 really changed my view of 2021. And I know it's pretty late in, well I wouldn't say late in the year, but it is March. Um, but I just wanted to get this video out because in my previous videos I kept stating I would make a video about my whole change to Chicago and life changes so this is this is the video I'm gonna make the video now let's start at the end of 2019 because that's how I really jump into 2020 so at the end of 2019 I did give birth to my son so in November of 2019 I gave birth to Malik's and at that time I was still in Virginia and I was still employed with my previous employer I don't think I should say the name of it just in case I don't know something crazy when I did actually move to Chicago it was at the end of January um, so January of 2021 so let's just pause there when you have a baby that is a major change and major lifestyle adjustment like just having a baby alone is one of the major changes in your life that people often fall into a depression or anxiety about um, so I think it's moving having a baby getting married um, and I think those were like the top three but yes that was like a major change in itself um, so as I was trying to get adjusted to having this newborn and being a first-time mother I was going through a lot I was going through body changes mind changes because I knew I had to be strong um, because Marcus was here in Chicago while I was back in Virginia, you know, he was setting up a foundation for us to move. So um, I knew I had to be strong because Malix, I was all Malix had in Virginia, like at, with his parents, you know. Marcus was there after the birth, of course, for a couple of weeks, but he did have to return back to work. Um, so, yes, I will pause there and say that was like one of the major changes that I'm going to dabble into later. So when I moved to Chicago, that was a major change that really affected me. If you, if you really think about it, um, all I knew was my family and where I was from, the area I was from. I was raised and born and lived in the DMV area. And if you don't know what the DMV is, it's like D.C., Maryland, Virginia. It's like that where they pretty much touch like the what do you call that the, the what is it called pretty much where they touch okay it's like that main northern virginia dc and maryland area so i was born in dc raised in maryland up until sixth grade and then i moved to virginia um so that's all i knew and all of my family is in either maryland or in Virginia so all of my support system um, everyone that would be there to give a helping hand um, and also you know to be my family to support um, they were gone like I moved to Chicago knowing what I signed up for knowing the reasons why I moved to Chicago and it was still tough it was still tough only because I only knew Marcus and really the only people he's like associates with is his mother and his dad so his parents him and his daughter which is our daughter um, that's all I knew that's all I had and it was a huge adjustment for me number one having a baby number two moving to a completely new state and not only is the state is it is it a new state it's a state that's 10 hours away from where I originally was. Um, so this is huge changes, you guys. These are huge changes. I can't just drive down the street and be like, hey, can you help me with Malix? Hey, can you help me with the kids or anything like that? I have to get on the plane or make a car trip 10 hours in order to see my family. Um, so that really actually put me in a deep... Uh, I don't know if it was depression, I don't know if it was postpartum. I will say that it was postpartum on a like lower level because whenever I went to the doctors and they gave me the questionnaire, I wouldn't think that, you know, 
I was I wasn't doing anything that was on those papers like some of those papers were like oh do you think about harming yourself do you think about harming the baby um, are you staying up worried about the baby blah 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 I wasn't doing those things but I felt that I was changing I felt that my mood was changing I was often like not really wanting to get up and be motivated and that wasn't me like I, I naturally have a bubbly personality and I just knew that wasn't me I say all that to say that happened the majority of 2020 so up until June of 2020 that's how I was feeling um, so when I actually moved to Chicago I was jobless I did not have a job so let me remind back because when I was pregnant Marcus was like, oh, you should try to find a job here, blah, blah, blah. But, like, the timing that he moved to Chicago and the timing of my pregnancy, if I were to apply for a job, you know, they would have to do an interview um, portion. And number one, I couldn't fly to Chicago every time I had an interview for a job because of how pregnant I was. And number two... I felt like once an employer looked at me and they saw my belly, they would be like, oh no. Like, we're trying to hire you for a job that needs to be done. And you're pregnant, not because I know it's against the law to fire somebody for being pregnant. But I'm just saying, from a job standpoint, it's like I'm hiring you to do, do this job and fill this role and do the responsibilities but you're going to be going on maternity leave for a couple of months like yeah no <laughs> like i that's what was like hindering me from applying to so many jobs because i didn't want to have to do those you know go through those two things um so when i got to chicago i was homeless any money that i had saved up was depleted it was gone and so i really had to rely on marcus um to really get me through um those times and for me I'm not a person that likes to depend on people you want to know why because when I did depend on somebody before they threw it in my face and I told myself I would never let that happen again and you know it sucks because I know Marcus all he wants to do is help but I, I just wasn't that type of person but I was left no choice so that was like the third reason that 2020 was just absolutely horrendous. So I didn't secure a job until June of 2020. And it was a at home job, a remote job. And it just worked out because Marcus worked from home. Well, once the pandemic hit, he worked from home from nine. Well, he does. He still does works from home from 9 to like 3 or 3 30 sometimes 4 30 and I the job that I have it starts 4 30 to 1 a.m. so someone is always up and someone is always catering to the kids um so it just worked out that's just how it worked so towards the end of 2020 things started to pick up you know you start you start to lose your your baby weight a little bit you're starting to get back to yourself you know moms you guys know what I'm talking about like your hormones start to regulate and you know you're starting to feel like yourself again and not to mention you guys I was trying to heal from a c-section so I had a c-section and I was trying to heal from it and I feel like personally I'm still healing from it because yeah moms if you had a c-section you already know so yes, towards the end of 2020, I made a decision. I wanted to have, well, Marcus had asked me some goals. And so I really wanted to think this year, 2020, or 2021, about my goals because every single year I made goals and I kind of fulfilled them, but I never really checked them off my list. And so I really wanted 2021 to turn around and be a fantastic year for me. So what I did the end of 2020, I said, look, these are my goals. I had fitness goals, which I'm still working on now. I had financial goals, which I'm working on now. 
um, and it's going great. And I had business goals. So my business goals is what was like my main focus. I wanted to create a business or launch a business. And the reason why I decided that is because I knew this pandemic really showed me jobs are not secure. You know, you're not promised the next day at your job. You're not promised the next day in life, really. But when you go into your job, you could be let off just like that. Like, just like that. So I wanted to have something as a backup um, in case anything like this ever happened again. Like, I didn't want to put myself and my family in that predicament. So I decided to launch my business. Now, the reason why I said how 2020 changed, you know, my view on 2021 is because I went through all of that and I went through a lot of thinking in 2020 so I can make a decision in 2021 or decision decisions in 2021 for my goals, my future, my family, so that I can push forward. So if you guys didn't know, this is like, yay, the biggest thing. I launched my own business. Yay! So my business is named Boss Call Consulting. And it is an LLC. I registered it as an LLC. My mission is to actually help mothers and mompreneurs that are launching their business um, pretty much create a balance between their home and work life through social media management. So I'm so excited. Uh, I, I have three clients already and Marcus is one of my clients. So actually, yeah, three clients. Um, I had a discovery call, so I am potentially about to have four clients. So everything is going so good. You already know if you need any help with social media management or you know someone that has a business that needs help with social, social media management, feel free to go to my Instagram, the link in my bio, and you can book a free discovery call with me. So make sure you guys go and follow my Instagram, Boss Call Consulting. And I just want to say I'm just so excited. Honestly, it's never too late to turn yourself around or to turn your life around. I did it. I know you can do it. it you can do it. Set some goals for yourself. Write them down. Make realistic like game plans step by step of how you're going to achieve these goals. So that was it guys. I just wanted to come and update you guys on the videos I've been saying I was going to put out for you guys about, you know, my transition from Virginia to Chicago. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. If you guys have any goals that you want to achieve, comment it down below and I can definitely make sure I hold you accountable for those goals, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Well, I'll talk to you in another video. Bye.